Andrew uh, came over for dinner, said that he went on a date with a girl, and he's sitting at our dining room table, which he's done a few times. But it wasn't just a girl. It was Miss South Dakota. <laughs> which, I just want to say that how in the world did you land Miss South Dakota? <laughs> the Bieber hair. It was the Bieber hair, he says. It was the Bieber hair. We follow the season. Harry, from the moment I met you, I was amazed by your beauty, your elegance, and your class. No one can help but notice the gorgeous woman with the red hair. But lucky for them and for me, there's even so much more beauty in you to discover. As I stand beside you today, Andrew Broderick Granger, I'm reminded of the Lord's faithfulness through years of longing and waiting for a man like you. A man who is thoughtful, kind, steady, intentional, and deeply committed to the Lord. You might say that the future is unpredictable. Who will Andrew wake up with in the morning to spend the day with? Will it be that tough, cat strangling, egg stealing, barrel racing fairy? <laughs> Or will it be a persistent competitor? So Andrew, you will never know. To know Carrie is to know the steady and calm, the sweet and pure joy. She's patient, she's kind, brilliant, loving, tender soul, and the one that stands in your corner and roots for you every step while acknowledging how hard things might be. She delights in it with you. Andrew, you already know how special of a person you're getting, and I know just how special you are by the way that she loves and adores you. Thank you for loving and pursuing Carrie in a way that so naturally reflects the heart of our Father. Carrie. Your compassion and kindness and gentleness is just so amazing. And I truly could not pick a better wife for my brother, Andrew. Y'all are just so amazing. And I'm so excited to get a front row seat to the rest of y'all's lives together. I vow to follow the example and commands of Christ by laying down my life for you. I vow to be a gentle listener to you, trusted for sharing, processing, and dreaming. I vow to seek to understand you and discover more of the way God made you. I vow to care for you in sickness and in health. I vow to cherish you all the days. I vow to love you as Jesus loves me. I vow to pray for you and with you because where two or more are gathered, there is God. I vow to laugh with you because laughter is medicine for the soul. I love you, Andrew Broderick Granger, and I choose you today and every day that follows. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is an honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. the hopes and to all our dreams, but most importantly of all, to the journey.
parents wish Carrie and Andrew a lifetime of happiness, love, and adventures worth documenting in their ever-growing scrapbook. Cheers. Cheers.